We're back. It's your boy Masashi and this bitch, your boy Ricky Ricky and this bitch, whatever the fuck you wanna call me. El Chinito, Jos Arcos, whatever you wanna call me. You know, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. We're back. We did the Euros prediction last week As promised We're back for the Copa America prediction Let's get it As promised man Look, so I haven't done the Copa America predictions Because I've seen like some Central American teams Were like in the knockout stage or some shit And I've seen like El Salvador was competing in them shit So was Guatemala I was like, hold on, these motherfuckers competing to get in the Copa America I was like, why would I do the Copa America predictions If there's teams that still need to be on that That's still gonna qualify for it Come to find out, these motherfuckers competing To classify to the World Cup Qualifiers. They in some qualifiers to qualify to the qualifiers. <laughs> so I'm like, hold on, man. El Salvador might make it to the Copa America. This shit might be lit. I was like, shit, I might fucking pull up. You know what I'm saying? Make some phone calls. They might, I might, you know, they might, you know, give me a chance to play in the team. Bring me out of retirement and shit. You feel me? But no, nah, that's not the case. Motherfuckers is bums. And they not making it to the Copa America. How the fuck Jamaica ain't here? Costa Rica, Panama. Everybody ain't here but El Salvador, man. We are cooked. We are doomed. We are in the mud. But anyways, man, let's get right into this shit, man. I said that I was doing the Copa America predictions as expected. My Euro predictions are doing pretty good after the first round. Only the winner that I predicted. I predicted. I didn't like the way they won their first match. And some shit happened with their lineup. Some a starter got kind of fucked up <laughs> and during the match, and he had to come out and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like, I like Germany. I like what I saw from Germany. I like what I saw from Spain. Uh, the Turkey, Georgia, motherfuckers playing against the United States. Georgia match was pretty lit today. Uh, and besides that, I haven't seen nothing too crazy. So, anyways, man, let's get right into this. Let's go, man. Hold on, man. We can't do this without, you know what I'm saying? We're not so... Let's get ready to rumble in this bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the group A. We in the group A. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! Alright. Let's go, man. Let's go. Group A, ladies and gents. We got the magnifying, the rectifying, the defending motherfucking champs. From the Copa America, Argentina. Argentina to win is plus 175. Obviously, as you can see, they are the favorites to win the tournament. And they are the favorites, in my eyes, to get out of this group. And now we go to the second place. I believe only first and second places are going through. Not like the Euros. They have some weird-ass fucking scheme. The third places go through and shit. You got to multiply, divide, divide. I'm like, bitch, let's get right to the shit, man. So this is a very complicated predicament that I got going on right now. Obviously, Peru ain't winning shit. Peru not on shit, and I don't know whether odds are better than Canada. But so it's I'm leaning towards Canada to go second. I watched Canada play; they played really good in the World Cup. So I have a very strong predicament here. This is Chile's squad. Claudio Bravo, this motherfucker like 67 years old. Boy, go be with your family. What the fuck are you still doing here? And then they got Isla, Oje, to Gabriel Suarez, Nicolas Fernandez is good. Alexis Sanchez, like 55 years old, too, motherfucker. Bro, this is not 2012 Barcelona when you was cooking and shit. Bro, get, go home. Come on, man. You about to play in the MLS next year, like shit. Come on, bro. And then they, they, they don't got no fucking body else. And then I look at Canada. And they got a really young squad. I don't know. This motherfucker's got cream pie at goal. Who the fuck is that? Freaky out boy. He a 69 guy. 
They got a Foster Davis, which is, who is coming back from injury. Um, they got Eustachio is a really good uh, midfielder that they have. Then they have Buchanan, really talented young midfielder they have. Then they got David, Jonathan David, a striker, a striker Hoylet, and Kyle Larine. They have a really good attacking force. They got a kind of mid midfield, and they got a, I don't know about their defense. I thought Freem Pong was from fucking Canada for some reason. But, you know, I watched Canada play. They went to head to toe with the U.S., and they're close to their home country, so they're going to have a strong crowd cheering for them. So I'm going to, you know, go with my senses, go with... My gut, not with my, and I'm going to go Canada, man. I'm going to go Canada to go second, man. And I, I know, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not really convinced with Chile, man. I'm going to go Canada to go second, and then I'm going to go Chile to go third. And now we move on to group B. Mm, let's get it. Quick and easy, baby. Quick and easy. 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 And now we are group B and shit. You feel me? And we got who we got? We got Ecuador, Jamaica, Mexico, and Venezuela. In my opinion, I think Group A is the group of death. Or actually, Group B is very equal too. See, the Copa America is not like the Euros. In the Euros, is the the really good teams and like the middle teams cannot compete with them. In the Copa America, everybody besides Argentina and Brazil, and maybe Uruguay, everybody's like in the same level. But anyways, I think in this group, I believe second is gonna go. Fuck, hold on, let's go with first. First is gonna be Ecuador. I've been watching Ecuador play, or I've watched them. I watched them in the World Cup. They did a great job. I watched them in the qualifier for the Copa America. They did a great job. They've been playing really good. I believe they're in the top spots for the qualification in the World Cup right now. I don't even got to look at their lineup. I don't know who the fuck in that team, uh, except two, three players, but I know they've been cooking. Sometimes you don't need names to cook up. So I got Ecuador going first, and this is when I get into a predicament. Obviously, Jamaica not going through. Motherfuckers too busy getting high. Let's fucking go. And I believe that Mexico might be cooked. <laughs> Hold on. Did y'all watch that last Mexico game? Bro, Mexico is at... Hold on. Let's look at these lineups, man. Mexico. Carlos Acevedo, Julio Gonzalez, Rael... I don't know who the fuck these goalies are. Cesar Montes, I know who that is. He I. Israel Reyes, Brian Gonzalez, Brian Garcia, Gerardo Ortega. Don't know who the fuck that is. Joan Vasquez, I think I know who that is. Jesus Orozco. Jorge, these motherfuckers sound like fucking construction workers. That just fucking... <laughs> motherfuckers sound like fucking ruferos that got caught up and shit. Motherfucker. Where are the big names? They have a lot of people up overseas. Orbelin Pineda is nice. Edson Alvarez is nice. They got Quinones, the dude that used to be Ecuadorian or some shit. He's he's a good striker. Santiago Jimenez is nice. Antuna, Alexis Vega, Guillermo Martinez. Damn, they, they didn't... That's crazy. They got this really young squad type shit of motherfuckers that nobody knows. Well, only Mexicans probably know them. I'm not Mexican, by the way, if y'all still think I am. My neighbor thought I was Mexican. We, my family was Mexican. I'm like, bro, we're not Mexican, bro. On the 503, man. Don't even disrespect me like this. <laughs> but, honestly, bro, didn't Mexico just get cooked or they tied and they didn't play? Bro, uh, Mexico is trash. Historically, they never been trash, but like recently, they've been ass. And do I have the lineup for Venezuela? I don't. I don't I didn't download the lineup from Venezuela. But honest to God <laughs> Look, 
I'm going to go with the fact that Mexico is playing in the United States and they have probably the largest crowd of fans besides USA. And I'm going to give them the beneficial of the doubt. But I, I'm going to have Mexico second because I don't want my Mexican viewers to cook me and shit. And, you know, I fuck with y'all. I fuck with y'all. So I'm going to put my belief in your fucking team. And if your bum-ass team lets me down, then that's on y'all. But they definitely not getting through the next round. <laughs> Whoever got Mexico next round fucking licking their lips like... <laughs> Whoever got Mexico next round, licking their motherfucking lips, boy. But, alright, so I'm going to put Mexico second. Give y'all the beneficial of the doubt. And then Venezuela going to go third. And Jamaica going to go fourth. And it's honestly going to come down to that game with Venezuela. And I can see Venezuela whooping Mexico's ass. That's why I... But look, I'm going to go with the home crowd type shit. They got the crowd with them. They got to... They got a ball out. They got a ball out, you know. But I wouldn't be surprised if Venezuela goes second, and that's just my point. Anyways, it doesn't matter because whoever goes second is not going to beat who they play next round. 100%. So we got Group B, baby. We got Group B. Let's get right to it. We got Group B decided. Group C. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! So for Group C, we got Bolivia, Panama, Uruguay, and USA. And this is pretty simple. Let's go with the second place, USA. First place, Uruguay. It, it, doesn't, get, it doesn't get easier than this. This is a very shitty group. Uruguay have been balling recently. I've been watching Uruguay play. They got a new coach. I forgot who their new coach is. They've been balling recently. They're, they might be the only threat to Euro, to Argentina coming up. but And then USA, bro. The USA got a really nice young squad. They just got obliterated by fucking um, Colombia. And then they tied Brazil. And then we're going to get right into that. Oh, Brazil coming up. <laughs> but... Uruguay, I've been I've been loving the way that they're playing. Darwin Nunez up top of Luis Suarez, beautiful Valverde in the middle, Ra Ronald Araujo in the back. They got Muslera, I think, still beautiful squad, really well composed. I love the way they play in football. And then USA, they just in the home turf, so they gotta go through, right? They gotta go through, right? And then I think Panama gonna go third, by the way. And then, all right, so we got Group C. You know, we're straightforward to the bitch. Straightforward to it. Straightforward to it. Now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. To Group D, shouldn't we? Uh, let's get ready. So in Group D, we got Colombia, Costa Rica, Brazil, and Paraguay. Just like Group C, very simple. Actually, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Should we go with what the GOAT said? Hold on, let's see the squads. Because it's either Brazil or Colombia going first, but I'm not sure who will go first. <clears throat> After what Ronaldinho came out and said. Let's look at what my GOAT said about these bums. Ronaldinho came out and said this after they tied USA 1-1 in a friendly match the other day. <laughs> That's it, guys. I will not watch Brazil games anymore at the Copa America nor celebrate any victory. <laughs> I've had enough. It's a sad moment for those who love Brazilian football. It's hard now to find the spirit to watch these bum-ass players and games. It's one of the most shittiest teams in the recent years. No respectable leaders. Only bums. Mid players. Most of them are Real Madrid. For the majority. I've never seen a situation as shitty as this. 
lack of love for the Brazilian shirt and lack of football. That's true, bro. Oh, my God. The last Brazilian we had was Neymar, bro. The last Jogo Bonito we have was Neymar. Our performance has been one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's such a shame. That's what my GOAT came out and said. And if Ronaldinho sees it, we got to back him up. We got to back up the GOAT. We got to back him up. Ain't no way the player that made me fall in love with the sport is going to cook his home country. <laughs> one of the GOATs, one of the greatest players to ever fucking play the sport, just cook his nation. So in that note, let's look at the Brazilian squad. Alisson, Bento, who knows the fuck that is. Danilo as Jan Couto, don't know who that is. Arana, don't know who the fuck Wendell, don't know who the fuck Beraldo, don't know who Militao is. Decent center back. Magalaes, nice. Marquinhos, nice. Bremer, don't know. Pereira, don't know. Guimaraes, nice. Douglas Luis, don't know. Joao Gomez, who the fuck. Paqueta, Ederson, Hendrick. That motherfucker Hendrick is a fucking industry plan. I've never seen no Hendrick highlights. And he got fucking... He got fucking bought by Madrid. And he even speaks fucking English. Since when has a Brazilian that's been fucking bought from Brazil speaks fucking English? This motherfucker is from England. They lying to us. <laughs> Eva Nilsson, Martinelli, Rafinha, Rodrigo. Look, they have a great attack. They have an insane attack. Rafinha, Rodrigo, Vini Jr. Vini Jr. has three goals and five assists in 30 matches for Brazil. Lamine Amal, a 16-year-old, has two goals and five assists in eight matches. It's just levels to this shit. You feel me? It's just levels. But, all right, that's the Brazilian squad. Let's look at the Colombian squad. And Colombia is on the heater, by the way. They haven't lost in, like, their last 10 games or some shit that I saw. They did a really heater streak right now. So, Alvaro Montero, Vargas Espina, Mexicas, mm -hmm. Arias, Jerry Mina, James Rodriguez. Oh, that boy coming coming back for for blood. Carrascal, Jorfin Quintero. See, it's not a lot of out, uh, standing out names in the squad. Luis Diaz, for sure. But that make... But because, bro, Colombia just whooped USA like 5-1. And then Brazil tied them. That's... Nah, hold on. <laughs> that boy Ronaldinho turned on his TV and he saw that Brazil tied USA. He said he was done. <laughs> He said, this is enough. I've seen enough. These motherfuckers are trash. <laughs> that boy Ronaldinho turned on his TV and he seen Rodrigo wearing the number 10. Boy, that boy was fuming. <laughs> that boy couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> boy, that boy Ronaldinho fucking turned on his TV and seen Vinicius Jr. fucking dribbling himself out of bounds. He could not believe what he was seeing on live television. <laughs> Look, I'm going to do a very humble, I'm a stab at it. I'm a stab at it just from going off Ronaldinho's comments. And Colombia is on the heater right now. And Colombia has more fans in the USA as well. I'm a stab at it. I'm a stab at it, fellas. I'm going to go right at it. And I think Colombia is going to go first and Brazil is going to go second. And that, that changes a lot. That changes the fixtures that we're going to get in the next round very clinically. I got to see him first. I got to see him first. But like I said, yo, these odds that you see in green numbers right there, there, that's how much Las Vegas is paying you if you put one of these teams to win the whole thing out right. Brazil, I believe they're the second favorite after Argentina, plus $225. If you never use Bet365, the app, you know, to gamble on sports, um, I'm going to put my code in the comments. So you guys, um, if you bet $10, you get $150 in bonus bets if you use my code. 
if you guys want to do that. But anyways, don't gamble because it's bad unless you... I just got cooking some baseball. But anyways. But anyways. <clears throat> Let's go to the next round, fellas. Let's go to the next motherfucking round. What the fuck we got going on, man? Let's go to the next motherfucking round in the fucking Copa America. These are my predictions. We are off to the motherfucking quarter finals of the motherfucking tournament. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I like these games. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the quarterfinals for the Copa America in my prediction. In the first match from the winner of Group A and the second place of Group B, we got Mexico against Argentina, the reigning champs. The defending champs of the Copa America. And we're not going to waste too much time. Because what the fuck is Orbelin Pineda going to do to Argentina? Not a goddamn thing. Messy hat trick, boy. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And then we got Ecuador against Canada. This will be a very even match because Canada don't go out like that. Ecuador, they got a lot of stamina. They can run a lot. They they got a nice ass counter attacks and so do Canada. These are two teams that play very similar to each other. <clears throat> But sadly, I'm gonna go with shit, man. Fuck me. This is a really even match, bro. But I'm going to go with the team that has been um, on a roll. I'm pretty sure Ecuador has been on a heater. And I'm going to get them to continue rolling that. And they're going to go through against Canada. And then we got the winner of Group C against the second place of Group D. And that was where I had Brazil. Honestly, because Ronaldinho was cooking these boys, they should be... They should be motivated to do really well. But I've been watching Uruguay play. And them boys aren't stopping. They're not slowing down. I'm going to go with the GOAT. I'm going to go and sign my opinion with the GOAT. Because I can see what he's saying. And I think Uruguay is going to knock out Brazil in the second motherfucking round. <clears throat> Colombia against USA. Holy shit, this is going to be a good-ass match. Let's look at this USA squad real quick, man. Let's look at this USA squad real quick. Because what the fuck are we talking about? <clears throat> Matt Turner goalie, correct. I don't know. The next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players after Matt Turner. Then it's Tyler Adams, <clears throat> Johnny Cardoso, Luca La Torre, Weston McKinney, Gio Reyna, Ricardo Pepe, Christian Pulisic, John Sir, Team Way. Eh, they're too young, bro. It's like a team of high schoolers. They're like. Where is the defense? Like, Luis Diaz about to cook these boys. Honestly, look. Ah. Shit, man. Because they're in home stadium. They're in home turf. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to do something very drastic here. I'm going to go... For Team USA, we gotta make America great at one point, man. There's no way Colombia just beat them 5-1 and USA just gonna take that dick to the face and not fucking retaliate. Pause. No homo. No diddy. 
I think because USA is in home soil and they just got dicked the fuck down with no lube against Colombia the last game, they will make a stand. And USA is going to go through if they face Colombia. <clears throat> that will be different if they face Brazil, though. Actually, fuck it. They can beat Brazil, too. They just tied them 1-1. But, ladies and gentlemen, these are my predictions for the quarterfinals of the Copa America coming up starting these, this Thursday. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <clears throat> and then we get to the semifinals of the Copa America, man. We're going to make this real nice and simple. We're going to make this real nice and simple. And there's absolutely no fucking way Ecuador can compete with the GOAT. And then this is going to be where USA goes to hell. <laughs> Honestly, USA could ride that way that they're at home and the fans... And shit. But Uruguay, they uh they defend, boy. They got defense, midfield, and attack. They you know, Colombia don't got all that. Colombia don't got no defense, even though they just whooped them for one. I don't I think the defense and the midfield of Uruguay and the attack are way three times better than Colombia's if USA plays Colombia. So I'm gonna go with Argentina and Uruguay to go to the mother fucking finals of the Copa America. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Uh. Ladies and gents, hold on, what the fuck was that? Ladies and gents, so before we go to the final, we got the third place for the bronze final, and then we got the main final. I believe for the third place, Ecuador will whoop the shit out of USA. Actually, let's be, I mean, these, these shits don't matter. What matters is my prediction for the final. You know what? Let's, let's be optimistic about, optimistic about the country that brought my family here. And that gave my family, you know, a chance at life away from the gang violence and, you know, making $5, $5 a day. USA gets the third place. Fuck it, right? Let's just fucking fuck it. Fuck it. USA gets the third place. McKinney Banger Upper 90s. Pulisic three penalties. USA gets the third place, man. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the main game of the motherfucking final. <clears throat> uh, In your left now. corner, we have the reigning champs, Argentina. With the greatest player of all motherfucking times, Lionel Andres Messi. And in the right corner, we have Uruguay. The best Uruguay squad I've seen in the last decade. With Luisito Suarez. Luisito Suarez still playing. Darwin Nunez right next to him. Valverde right behind him. And Araujo covering the motherfucking defense. This will be a battle of the ages. This will be a dog fight. Leo Messi against his best friend Luis Suarez. Not even the motherfucking NBA script writers could write the script I just wrote. Not even. Boy, this is the most insane script I've seen in the last decade for Copa America. And of course, you know what time it is, man. Messi not going out like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Argentina will be crowned the 2024 Copa America champions. Once again, they will defend their title. They will defend their motherfucking trophy that they won the last time 
and Messi will retire after this tournament from the Argentinian team. Messi will retire after they win this tournament. And it's cooked from there. He might not retire though. He might wanna he might wanna run it back in the World Cup. How old is Messi? Like 36? He gonna be like 38 for the World Cup. But Messi not Cristiano stat padding. Cristiano hasn't retired because Messi's still playing. Like Cristiano not gonna retire before Messi retires. I swear to God he's not. He's only still playing because he doesn't want Messi to fucking beat him in most goals, international goals or some shit. Motherfucker ego is out of this world. Like I was watching the Portugal game today. Motherfucker is ass. <laughs> That team is playing just to feed him, and they almost lost against Czech fucking Republic because of his ass. But anyways, enough of that. I think Argentina will win the 2024 Copa America, and Messi will have a great tournament feeding his play, he feeding his teammates just like he always does. And Uruguay, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if Uruguay beats them, but I just don't think that's the script. I just don't, that's not just, that's not the script that I have written for you guys. Messi will conquer Copa America again in the United States in front of everybody and for the whole world to see. And he might retire after this tournament. These are my predictions for the Copa America tournament. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm smoking Shit, let me know. <laughs> let me know if I'm smoking crack with these predictions. Let me know if I'm heating up with these predictions. Let me know who you think is gonna take the tournament. Let me know who you think is not gonna take the tournament. I think Argentina will take the tournament just how the books predicted. It's not too hard. Put your life savings on Argentina to win it and thank me later. You might be homeless, but shit. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. These are my predictions for the Copa America, man. Uh, my Bet365 um, code will be in the comments. If you guys want to uh, bet on this tournament, all you have to do is place a $10 bet and you get $150 in bonus bets to gamble on these games or on any sports, on any game going on. If you're not into that, let's get some money, man. Argentina to win the tournament. It's just... You can't go wrong about that, man. I'm out of here, man. Subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, man. My Euros predictions are doing pretty good. Share this video with your mama and your cousins. I'm out of here. Bow! Tu de va rápida, ligera, suave, lenta.